Oh my god. Down, cat's wedding dress. So I'm about to go outside and uh, walk the camp as the camp host. It's my duty for this evening. Uh, I basically tell everybody to be quiet and that the quiet hours are 10. Um, first time doing it, should be fun. I'm interested in it. Cat uh, is, <laughs> is interested in watching me do this. So this should be fun. I get to tell people that are drunk to shut up. So let's give it a whirl. This is the group uh, Eric Holmes. He's not warning me about it. He, he's like, uh, there's a big group, is what he was trying to say. Uh, How many was, tents do you think they are? I think they're like three. Uh, probably three, uh, maybe four. Hmm. I think they're like 17, 19, 20, and 21 or something like that. They have a sheriff's car along with them bringing their own sheriff's car can't can't uh, threaten the sheriff on them Great night. Thank you. And also, just a quick reminder if you have a fire tonight, uh, make sure you either put it out or let it go to Amber. Perfect. All right, cool. Thank you. Thank you. Sounds good. Thank you. No problem. Have a great night. Spring cleaning. not looking pretty out here, but yeah. underneath, underneath, it's looking real good. Next, maybe this area. Definitely this area. Because we had a few people over and uh, a little bit of partying. Ta-da! Headed out to uh, the land up here near uh, North Fork, right near Yosemite. Go help my uh, parents evacuate. And it is ridiculously smoky up here. And we haven't even climbed up uh, onto the mountain yet. It looks like the uh, campfire, or creek fire, sorry, creek fire is uh, very, very close to them, right next to Mammoth Pool. Um, they just had to evacuate like 250 people out of there. So, uh, here we go. Let's see what happens. 
the smoke is starting to get so thick right now. Like I've got the uh, the AC on uh, only inside, but uh, it feels like I am in a campfire right now. There is uh, quite a bit of smoke. You cannot even see the hills. Just after you get over the top of the hills, you can't see what's behind them because it's so much. This is crazy. Just got here and uh, you can't even see across the valley at all. It's like being in an ashtray out here. There's like little raining dust in the air everywhere. You gotta get this place going. Yeah, I think, uh, oh. Wow, it's weird because it's cold, right? Yeah, well, yeah. It would... in 17 and Gilroy, 115 in the bay. Yeah, it was supposed to be 103. I was supposed to be floating on a river today. This is, uh, this is what we're supposed to be doing. Let's put it all out here to burn. If we can pack it out with us, that's better. Yeah, I'm going to take all the propane tanks out. Any, any fuel that we can take out with us is an aid. Yeah, but like how much of this uh, stuff in this garage is full of fuel? Got the boat. Well, hopefully pop up. Oh, you can still see the kind of glow in the sky over that way. All right. the livestock is coming right through the roads. It's freaking out. Yeah, uh, that chicken over there is freaking out. Okay, so for chickens, I got these big uh, plastic storage tubs from uh, Home Depot. Could put holes throughout the lids, and we could pack the chickens in there. And I got one, like medium-sized one, just for that asshole chicken. Yeah. Um, well, I mean, you know, like chickens live like that at Foster's Farm all the time. I looked up, I Googled, where do you take chickens during a fire? Okay. And Google gave me map results of Foster's Farms, uh, Cowboy Chicken, and some other like chicken <laughs> processing plant. They're all, they're on the way to That's the bay. So if we wanted to really take care of these chickens, we could uh, own Kat's wedding dress. It was amongst a whole bunch of floof over there by Kenny. This stuff over here. Uh, but Stephanie called it. She was like, hey, is that a wedding dress? I spy champ. Hell yeah. I'm actually really fucking good at that game. <laughs> <laughs> nice, so I'm gonna go throw this in the truck. Well, we were able to get them all out. Uh, well, not all out. I mean, we only got the uh, stuff that they would value the most. So pictures, you know, keepsakes, all that sort of things. All of their cats, and dogs, and chickens uh, are all with us. And now, um, now we're gonna head to San Jose and store my parents uh, at my sister's place, along with their. Um, their uh, animals for the time being until we figure out exactly what we can do with them. Um, that's the problem. You know, if you have to evacuate and you have animals, there's not a lot of options for you out there if you don't have, like, family that can come uh, help you out. One thing I definitely learned is that the uh, Sonoma Fire Department has got their crap together versus, say, Fresno and the Madera County Sheriff's. Um, the warnings are sporadic, the updates are like random and usually 13 hours apart. And uh, when you're sitting there wondering if fire is going to burn down, you know, your land, you, you, you need a little more than 13 hours apart uh, updates. So that's been, been fairly interesting. Um, yeah, all in all, mission successful. We got so much of their stuff in my RV right now that the RV, the little RV, is heavy. I got Laverne on tow haul mode just to make sure that we get this uh, safely to where it needs to go. Anywho, yeah, that little movie is uh, about done with. Now we all just get to sit there and watch the sporadic updates to see, you know, hopefully not, but hopefully the fire does not pass through North Fork. It was at the um, 
edge of North Fork when we left. So there's actual portions of North Fork. I think they call it, uh, what was it, Southern Flats Road or Southern Flats um, is burning down right now. So that sucks. Hopefully our wonderful firefighters are out there and they're able to, uh, to stop it. So. But yep, that was Labor Day weekend. Not uh, a lot of uh, labor lists there. We were planning on floating down a river. Instead, we did some hard labor. Packing boxes, moving stuff. Just don't want to have to do this again. Again, again. Like, there's been so many fires and so many evacuation preps um, lately. You ready for our day, baby? Uh, and then they've got the headwater, which is where we spent a hundred bucks. I'm not doing that. And then either. there's the omakase, for Jap which is Japanese for I'll leave it up to you. So uh, we can pick whatever we want with that one. And no, that's, uh, that's, you make them pick what they want, I think. I'll leave it up to you, don't you think? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's probably Brisk's yeah. win for one. Yeah, exactly. Oh, my God. Beautiful. Beautiful. New Yorker. Yeah, oh. New Yorker. Hello there. Welcome to wine with Brisk. Yeah. That is not how you hold a wine glass. <laughs> this here is a pet nut. This is delicious. It's sparkly, very French. Very French and uh, very tasty. We are at Lyoko's tasting room. It's not French. It's not French wine. This is a French tradition. It's not. Yeah, but it's not French wine. It's not. No, it's a very French style wine. Yes, but you can't call it French. It's a French tradition. We should argue over wine more often. Um, it's very French. Is it petite? Not. Not. I think. That. It's freaking delicious. Apparently it's only available to their wine club members and uh, we are not that. But she saw us, she was like, wow, you two look like you could be members. And she offered it to us. And uh, I gotta say, I wish I had this first. That's wine with Chris. <laughs> um, what I think is the reason that we're getting to try this special wine is the fact that it's basically the apocalypse. Everyone's walking out with masks because of COVID, but the fires are burning, and so the air quality outside is basically a campfire. So the fact that we are willing to come in the first place, like they're like, here, take our wine. Speaking of fire, we're driving around with my wedding dress in the back of our truck because my sweet, sweet husband thought that was the one, one thing we should bring from uh, our storage. I also got your snorkel mask. Did you? Yeah. Oh, that's sweet. The weird thing is he thinks to bring. I, got my, I didn't, tell him I didn't get my snorkel mask, but I got my flippers. Oh, that's good. That's yeah. good. Speaking of, here, give me the, give me the camera. I want to ask you some questions. Yes, uh, this is my handsome face. Oh my gosh, be a normal this person. This is what I look like all the time. I can't help it. Tell me about, um... My mama don't name it Grace because I'm amazing. Tell me about the trip down from your parents' house with all the, the animals and everything. Um... It was dark, man. We, uh... At, I thought we made it out okay. We made it to my sister's house, Kenny and I. Um, with all their stuff. Uh, and, you know, everything made it uh, fairly well. Um, my parents didn't make it past Madeira. Uh, they lost all but eight chickens, so that's like 24 chickens, eight, so, you know, 16 of them died. Uh, it was just too hot that it was uh, not as hot when you're right next to the fire because the clouds have, like, locked in or locked out the sun. Uh, so it was like 79, maybe 80 uh, when we were there right at their house. But as soon as we got out of it, it was like 115, and those chickens just, like, you know, immediately went through heat and exhaustion and died. Stephanie was traumatized, she was holding one of them, uh, and it was just just a bad, bad thing. So they like, worried about the dogs. Uh, my dad um, ended up having to get a tire from my mom's car, walked into the tire shop place, and then passed out from uh, heat exhaustion. 
So they just had to get a hotel right there. Luckily, the, the lady at the front understood what was going on. Was like, yeah, go ahead. You can bring your chick, the you know, surviving chickens inside. How uh, are they doing now? They're still waiting. The, the fire department says it may be weeks before people get back to that area. <laughs> Here's one good thing that came out of the fire. What? Uh, I found our lantern, and now I have, um, you know, an electric lantern that I can walk around when I'm doing my night duties. We got discounted rent. It was, uh, it was good. How much? It was good. Uh, it was 334 times 10. It was 340 off. $340 nice. off of the like nine something we paid. So it was like 650 or six, 649 I think it was for us to uh, stay for a month. The beautiful smoke ridden <laughs> evacuation zone 2E3. <laughs> I, I enjoy evacuation zone 2 e I think right now we're in uh, 1H, 1H5 or 1H... Yeah, we no longer call uh, places in California by their names. They're now called by their evacuation zones. But if you're going to visit zone 1H5, I highly recommend you, you spend some time at Ryoko's tasting room. It's good so far. Hey, um, speaking of, let's talk and more drinking. I'm ready. I want my next one. <laughs> it's hard to put on masks in these days, especially after you've had a few glasses of wine. How did China do it all these times before? <laughs> Hillsburg is pretty nice. It's got this nice uh, big center area where everybody uh, tries to not act strange. Everybody's kind of outside hanging out despite the air quality. A lot of outside seating. music. It is so smoky outside because uh, again there's another fire close to us. Last night I uh, drove hours taking Kit back to, um, to North Fork with all of my parents uh, needful things inside and uh, yeah that was Good 11 hours. I had to um, re refix the lights on Kit, but I, I've got down to a science now. I'm learning how these uh, how these seven pin four blade systems work a lot better. But uh, but I got them got their stuff all there. They're back in their house, and, and now, now we have fire danger. Now we have so like you keep you can't even see the sun. It's just so much smoke in the air. Like the parts per million out here have to be like like above 500. It's easily. It's ridiculous. But uh, still gotta walk the little the little guy. I'm gonna go down to the river and um, let him do his his splishy splash activity. Got the stick. Got the stick. Dumps them in there. He goes and looks at it and then goes back around. Yep. Here's your stick. Where's your stick?
carefully grabs it and removes from water. Success. Oh yeah. They added a step. Yeah. Or two. And these. And ropes. And carved out more steps. Hey, Lumpy. Like, no, no, I want you to throw it. The contrast is so crazy out here because of all of the smoke. Everything's just reflecting white. Dusk. Over the Martian sun over us. Um, come here, Mama, do it. And this is what Kat does, whiling away her days on her MacBook, <laughs> editing video. How you doing there, baby? I'm doing well. Yeah. I, I'm reliving travel right now when we can't actually leave the country. I really wish we could leave the country. Yeah, we should have been already to Cuba. <laughs> Where's Cuba? I miss Cuba. Should have been to Bali. Where's Bali? I miss Bali. You're American. You're not allowed to go to Cuba or Bali anymore. No, I'm not allowed to go anywhere. Because you got the American sickness. What's it called again? The COVID. Yeah, the American sickness. I got the COVID. Well. I don't have the COVID, but I might have the COVID, and that's why they won't let me go. Yeah, the American sickness is not responding right to COVID, but uh, yeah. That is the American sickness. <laughs> American sickness is having to live in a country with an evil dictator. Hey, you know. It, it's it's about time we got our taste. The rest of the world's all had to deal with that. I am, I agree, but I am willing to denounce the evil dictator if you'll allow me in your country. Yeah. Oh yeah. Canada. Yeah. Anywhere. Honestly. Like, Take please this. let me in. I, actually, since it's getting closer to winter, I, I would say um, it's somewhere warm. That's true. <laughs> Canada. Maybe next time. Yeah. Catch you in the summer, Canada. <laughs> Welcome. Okay, first of all, start, start from the beginning because the hello there got cut off. It just happens. I don't know what to tell you. And and really, the the mask on the ear is dumb. Produce much? Yes. Shut the cabinet. The cabinet being open all the time is annoying. <laughs> This is how we date. 